It's interesting how things work out. I was sitting down to go to Amazon and buy a highly recommended knife for my everyday carry knife, which is the Crenshaw Clash. And I decided, well, let me just check my subscriptions and see if anybody's got a new video up. And I ran across my brother's keeper's 111 challenge on uh, doing a video on your EDC. So this is a video on my everyday carry weapon. Now some people kind of make fun of what I carry because they say it's not going to do any good because it's too small of a caliber. But I guarantee you when you get one of these bullets coming at you, you would probably have a different opinion. I'm not trying to stop any vehicles, I'm not trying to shoot through walls. I'm trying to stop somebody who will be probably within 15 feet of me. This is what I use. I use the hollow point, and that's what I carry uh, in the chamber and in the magazine. And these are my practice rounds. So have you been able to figure out what caliber I'm shooting? So my uh, handgun of choice for my EDC is the Ruger LCP 380. And I have the Crimson Tide laser on it. I carry this in a pocket holster from Talon. And for me, and I mean that, for me, and your, yours may be different, this is the best EDC that I could come up with. I wanted a handgun that I would carry all the time. And I carry this gun all the time. If I am awake and out of bed, this gun is on me. The only time I don't have it on me is when I'm showering. But if I'm wa washing the car, if I'm working in the garden, if I'm going to the movies, if I'm awake, it is on me. And that is what I wanted in EDC. I didn't want a gun that uh, would be, uh, here in Texas, we need to have a concealed carry. And so it can't be exposed. No one should be able to see that you have a gun. I carry this in my front pocket. And I've had people... I told people I'm carrying, as we've discussed protection, and I've had them try to figure out, and I've turned around in circles, where is the handgun? They have No one has ever been able to figure out where my handgun is. And I have it in my front pocket. They just can't see it. Whether I've got cargo pants on, shorts, pants, dress pants, suit, doesn't make any difference. This gun is perfect for what I need to do. So. I wanted a gun that I always have on me, so in, no matter what the situation, uh, I, ha I have some protection. As you can see, it's got the Crimson Trace laser on it. I fully believe, after watching numerous videos of um, robberies, holdups, that I, even though I'm trained, I will not have time to bring the sights up, which are minimal on this gun. I'll talk about that in a second, and, and aim. I simply want to be able to point wherever the laser is, and that's where the bullet's going to go. I've zeroed this in so that I can get three shots in uh, under a dime on the target every time. Now that may change in a high stress situation, which is going to be the only time I bring this out. And I'm not going to do a safety check on here because I know it's loaded and it's got one in the chamber. And it always has one in the chamber and always has a full magazine unless I'm shooting it or if I'm um, dry practicing. But other than that, it's always loaded and that's the way I treat it. I like this gun because it has no safeties, external safeties on it. It's a double action trigger. Uh, which means it's not going to go off unless I put my finger on that trigger. Uh, I don't have any safety mechanisms to forget about or fumble with in a high-stress, urgent, life-threatening situation. If I pull this gun out, it's getting shot. 
And so I used to practice, I dry practice uh, almost every single day, multiple times during the day. And I used to dry practice when I pull it out and put, and put my finger in the safe position. And then I realized if I'm pulling this out, I'm shooting it. So now when I dry practice, I put my finger on the trigger. I wanted a, a pocket pistol that was good for self-protection up close. I'm not going to be shooting somebody a football field away or even 50 yards or even 50 feet away. If I'm that far away, I'm going to run. I wanted something that would not get hung up on my pocket. I love that this is basically no sights on this. Uh, some people complain about how bad the sights are. I love it. If it didn't have it, I would have probably filed them down. I don't want to get hung up on my pocket. So for me, this Ruger LCP is perfect. I carry it every single day, every hour of the day that I'm not in bed. And I carry it in this uh, Talon leather um, a pocket holster. Now the reason why I got this is because I felt that um, the leather would give me more protection uh, as, it, as the gun is moving around in my pocket. Um, and it's also made specifically for the uh, Crimson Trace laser. So I, I'm very happy with this. I practice uh, with this constantly and I have found as I pull this, this uh, weapon out of my pocket straight up that this, this catches, no matter what I'm wearing, this will catch on the inside of my pocket. So I'm very quick on the draw. It's very casual. I have my hands in my pockets, which is kind of a normal thing when, when people are talking. And if I, uh, if I need to, that gun is out faster than any, anybody who's got a, a, a in the belt um, or on the ankle or any other position under the shirt. This gun, I can outdraw anybody and have outdrawn everybody I've drawn against in practice. Um, so that's why I have it. I like it because it's compact. I like it because I like how much force is in a 380. It's not too much, but it's good enough for up close. I like that it's compact. I, I often I I check my my I just slap my my leg to make sure I've got my 380 on me because it's so light you don't even notice it. So when I went to the uh, concealed handgun license uh, course, I asked them specifically, "What do you what do you recommend for uh, everyday carry?" And he said, "You have to find that out for yourself." My wife carries a completely different gun. My sons carry completely different guns for their EDCs. This is what works for me and what I know that I will have on me all the time. So uh, find one that, that works well for you. Uh, the only thing I was going to add to this for an EDC is the, is the uh, Crenshaw Clash. Uh, so it would be awesome if I won that, then it would save me from having to order it on Amazon. But I felt that I needed to have a... Uh, a knife on me also for everyday carry. Hope this has been uh, informative. Uh, do your research uh, before you buy a gun. Go down to the gun shop. Find, you know, hold things, carry it. Um, uh, if you get a chance, shoot it so you can feel the kickback, so you can feel the trigger pull. Um, whether you like the safeties, uh, you find out what works for you. But most important, carry and carry every day. You'll feel better, you'll feel safer, you'll be safer, and above that is make sure that you're practicing. Practice every day, dry fire, you'll be much more efficient than if you're out live firing. So I would say dry fire, you know, 10, 50 times more often than when you're down at the range. Dry fire all the time, practice. Get used to your gun, get used to the trigger pull. I can pull this out and pull this trigger back to the stop position and I know exactly where the hammer is so I'm very proficient in this weapon. Um, make sure you've got the magazines that you need. You carry an extra clip if you need to in your other uh, your offside pocket. Uh, get some good uh, stopping rounds. These are these are good practice rounds here. They're cheap. Got them at uh, Walmart. Uh, got these at uh, cheaperthandirt.com. Uh, good price, good quality and that's everything I need. Uh, I can just really tell you sincerely from my heart, get a weapon that you will carry, that you're comfortable in using, and that you'll carry all the time. Otherwise, you just bought a weapon for somebody else to pick up and use. Get it, put it on you,
keep it on you and be proficient in it and you'll be glad that you did. Thanks for the opportunity to share this. Make sure that you go to Brother uh, Keeper's 111's channel. He's got great videos out there. This is LDS Prepper out.